Hi folks, it's a real pleasure to be here and um, my name is Jane Chan, I am the head of Start Me Up with Invest Hong Kong, a government agency responsible for helping overseas companies set up here. So if you've got any kind of questions um, about potentially setting up, we've got a booth over there, please look us up. Um, fantastic to see you all, you know, what do you think of RISE, isn't it? There's so many things going on, I'm literally doing about three events a night at the moment, so I'm hoping you've managed to catch some sleep. But here, uh, what I want to talk about is some of our fantastic growth companies. And today, um, we've got some really good content for you. I'm hoping you're as excited as we are in terms of, of as we move on in this afternoon of really good content. So stay with us for the next three hours or so. We're going to be showcasing some of the best companies in data and AI, e-commerce, and transportation. And you're here in Hong Kong, you're here at RISE. Let's give a big RISE welcome to every speaker who's come on. You know, they've come a long way. And you know, when they're finished presenta presenting as well, it would be fantastic to, to give that rousing kind of thank you to, that, to the crowd as well. So, who's up next? If you were at Web Summit in Lisbon, you would have seen our next speaker presented alongside the late Stephen Hawking in the future role of AI in humanity. He with us today to discuss a mission to make banking and, e and commerce safe using big data and AI. Can you welcome FeedSci CEO Nuno Sebastio to stage, please? Nuno. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the nice intro. Um, and it's true, I mean, I was given the pleasure of introducing uh, the late Stephen Aachen at the last Web Summit. And what I basically, just in summary, what I talked there was about how do you manage AI and how do you keep it you know, ethical and how do we make sure we understand what's going on behind the machine, behind what AI and machine learning uh, gives us. And that's what I'll talk a little bit uh, about in the time we have uh, today and what we're doing at Feedsai in uh, that space. Before that, let me just tell you a quick story. A couple of months ago, one of our large clients, one of the world's largest merchants, they started to see some uh, attacks or some you know, fraudulent activity in their, in their website. And what seemed like completely disparate attempts from all over the world actually turned out to be a massive uh, attack. And it was in total, over a span of three hours, something like $64 million originating from three, over 360,000 orders all uh, across the, the, the globe. And this is why, you know, today we're doing, with a, the only way you can understand these patterns is with what we do uh, using AI first. And give you, I'm not going to assume that you know uh, a lot about Feedsai. In fact, we just opened our APAC uh, office here, right here in Hong Kong about uh, eight weeks ago. To give you an idea of what we do at FIDSA and who we are, we essentially manage risk for financial institutions across the payment ecosystem, ranging from large FIs uh, to you know, what some of the largest e-commerce properties out there. And every day, around five billion US dollars go through our systems. We have us, uh, we're proud to have as partners and clients uh, 10 of the 25 uh, world's largest uh, banks. And we've raised a fair amount of money, $82 million so far. We're the you know, highest funded company in the, ca in the category. We're also the biggest one from the new emerging players in this space at over 300 employees in just a span of around uh, four years. And this gives you an idea of when we first started it in, in Portugal all the way to today, and you know, I'm really happy that we just opened our, our APAC uh, office. And what do we do to you know, keep innovating and keep applying the best and breed of what AI has to, has to offer us? And this is what I also want to talk about today. A couple things that, you know, if you're deep into AI, these are probably not you know, really new concepts but it's the first time they're being brought to market in a packaged way that can be used for you to manage risk in your organization. So one of them is OpenML. What is OpenML? Open machine learning is basically the ability to use a number of machine learning algorithms, not that just the ones we provide, but the ones that you might already be using uh, in your bank, the ones that you more be, might be more comfortable with. And what we see is for different types of fraud, 
and depending if you're a merchant or if you're a bank, actually there are different algorithms that provide better uh, results. When we created this, you know, as, as data scientists, we understood that, you know, Random Forest is a machine learning algorithm that works well in some scenarios. But something called XGBoost or LightGBM works a lot better in other scenarios and provides uh, a lift. So that is the kind of stuff that we, we open our platform and essentially allowing to bring all these open source libraries, transforming them in tools that is usable within uh, FeedZine. The, last, the other thing I want to talk about is something we call AutoML. AutoML is what we believe, it's in a very early stage, we're contributing to the research in this area, is essentially the ability, one of the biggest challenges we have in the space is there are no data scientists out there. They're very, very scarce, they're very few, they're very expensive, and we just cannot find them uh, lying around. So a big area of innovation is this AutoML, which is just basically the ability to have the machine itself building models to understand, you know, to build better models based on, what's on the models that I already had. So AutoML is essentially, can we, instead of building, having data scientists building the models, can we tell the machine, actually teach her, to build new models for that particular domain? In our case, Fraud, uh, fraud, fraud management. And some results we have, which I think are really, really cool. So what you see here is there's actually two lines there. One uh, was coded, so basically that line is actually the detection rate. So how much fraud can you detect at what's called the false positive rate? So how many good customers you annoy and to detect fraud? So ideally, you detect 100% of fraud uh, and not annoy any new customers. This is, let's say, the holy grail. This is technically impossible. So what we try is to have a curve that looks as much as like uh, this. And for uh, this particular problem, we had two people working two months looking at a particular data set, and they came up with a curve. We then taught the machine using AutoML to basically, OK, can I, using AutoML techniques, build a model that is somewhat close, somewhat near to what you know, the humans would be doing. And the reality is, one day of heavy computation, but ju actually just using a laptop, it was not using um, a, a, a large cluster or, cluster or anything like that, we were able to build pretty much the same curve. So what does that tell us is the work that was manually intensive in a very large cluster that would take you know, two people two months can now be done in just one day by a computer in as pretty much automated uh, way as it can possibly be done. And this is, if you think about that, we're building you know, actually dozens of models concurrently for all, all of our clients. You compress all of that and have one day the machine or a set of clusters building all these models. This is, from what we've seen out there and from the feedback we're getting from our customers, really revolutionary because what it allows you to do is to deploy mo models constantly without having to waste for two months, three months of training time. And this is particularly relevant because fraudsters are becoming a lot more sophisticated in the way they perpetrate attacks. And as in the example I was showing earlier, that was over the, the 64 million, that was over a period of three hours only distributed, highly coordinated attack across the world. So that's what I wanted to, uh, to bring to, to, to you guys. And basically, with our new uh, office here in Hong Kong, what we are hope, uh, hopeful and what we're seeing is, and I was just talking about this in the backstage, is if I compare based on our experience in the US, our experience in Europe, and what we're seeing now here, this region, because there's so much more happening, it's so much more emerging, there's the payment tokens are being used or not card-based, you know, it's app-based, it's WeChat-based. All of that is really conducive to having to use technology like this. So we're really happy to say that we've landed in Hong Kong. We're happy to, you know, announce it here um, at RISE. And that's basically it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs>